Hello, everybody. My name is Grace Smith with the Wise News Network, and today we are here with Christy Turner, who is an admin for Just Jeep and for a Cause. How are you doing today, Christy? Great. How are you? Doing great. Thank you for coming to our studio today. Can you tell us a little bit about the upcoming event that you guys have for the Tyler Herdman Foundation? Okay. On March 16th, we are going to have a Jeep ride um, through from Mount Holly through Kings Mountain and back. And what it's for is... Um, we're going to stand with the Herndon Foundation, and we bring in a lot of Jeeps, and all the donations that come in go straight into the Tyler Herndon Foundation. Awesome. And can you tell me a little bit about what working alongside this organization means for you? As a group, we did not have the opportunity to meet Tyler, and we come in, and we've we've gotten close to his parents, Mark and Debbie, and it's been an honor and a pleasure to grow with their group and to be able to stand beside them and love on them as they bring their foundation to help future law enforcement officers. And it's also our way to support the local officers now that are out there risking their lives daily for us. Absolutely. And for those of you who might not know, Tyler was an officer who lost his life in the line of duty. And um, ever since his passing, this organization has been holding this event to honor his life and celebrate his not only his life, but the impact that he had on the community. Um, how does your organization or how does the Herdman Foundation impact the community? They give like scholarships for future law enforcement officers, and they just do stuff throughout the community to improve the lives of law enforcement officers and their families. And why is it so important to support the families of law enforcement officers and to support law enforcement officers themselves? For the family-wise, a lot of times they're the ones that are making the bigger sacrifice. The way I see it is they go out, their their loved one leaves them every morning or every evening, and they don't know if they're going to come back. And they don't know what life could be if something happened and every day that officer risk his life and or her life and then a lot of times we take it for granted so this is our way to reach out to them and let them know that we're backing them and that we support them we love them and that we're praying for them i'm sure that you've had to work pretty closely alongside tyler's family we do and how does what does this event mean to them to be able to celebrate their son brother family members life in such a major way for any parent that's lost a child your biggest fear is that your child won't be remembered so to be able to make sure Tyler's legacy keeps going means the world to a parent so when you add that into the mix it makes this event even that much more special to so many of us and then has your organization seen a lot of support from local law enforcement agencies in this event? Yes, this year has been amazing. Um, one of our local or one of our members um, worked directly with Mark Herndon to help figure out a route for the ride. So thanks, Bruce Caps, for that. And he also went a, a way above his need and helped us get like state highway patrol on board we have all the counties that are coming in so this ride will be fully escorted between state highway patrol and through our local and multiple local police departments that are going to step in and help us and it that's what's going to make it amazing yeah absolutely it seems like those law enforcement officers will also be able to participate in this event in their own way which they, is very great. They will. And then Tyler's parents will be riding in Tyler's car oh, throughout wow. the event. This was our fourth year and they've been in the car. So it it kind of, that's a, a very tearjerker for many of us to see them in his car. Absolutely. I'm sure. And can you tell me a little bit about the Jeep of it all? So <laughs> I know that Just Jeep and For a Cause is, it's a Jeep club, correct? Correct. And what inspired you guys to band together and to create this procession to celebrate Tyler and his life. So for the Jeep Club, we are we we were a club that was made for a cause. So we wanted to be able to impact the community, to help other people that needed things throughout the community, to put a smile on somebody's face. So we do all kinds of crazy stuff, but this is one of our more serious events. Um, and it's more, we get to fly our flags. We get to 
fly, fly our black and blue flags, we get to let people in the community see the Jeeps come by supporting the police officers, knowing that there's there's always a cause. If if we're coming in a line, a Jeep line, and there's 300 Jeeps coming on, we're coming in strong and we're coming in for a reason. There's always a purpose typically behind what we do. And you said 300 Jeeps. Is that around what you're expecting for this this year's event? That's what we're hoping for. That's pretty wow. much what we had last year. So That is very exciting. Yeah. And where do these supporters come from, specifically North Carolina, or is it kind of all over? It's kind of all, all over. Um, we've had them all the way from Virginia, Tennessee, it, it just really Charlotte. You know, we have, they just kind of come from everywhere. Jeepers kind of unite together. And when there's a Jeep event, Jeepers tend to come. So can you tell me a little bit about the Jeep ducks that we always see? <laughs> okay. I'm really curious. Okay. Yeah. We're a little crazy about our ducks. Um, so a little before COVID, um, a lady and her daughter is how I, I, I do believe um, they started this by putting a Jeep on a duck to say, oh, your, your Jeep's cool or I like your Jeep or just to put a smile on somebody's face because, you know, we were kind of socially distanced there for a while. So it really got big during COVID because you could really like go out and see that people were getting ducked like crazy and it kind of stuck. And now all of our dashboards have ducks and then you'll see some dashboards with lit up ducks. And I mean, the ducks have really, they they have outfits, they have oh. hats, they, yeah, it's kind of gotten kind of crazy, but we as Jeepers love it. And yeah. That's it's really cool. Weird. <laughs> I know that the Jeep wave, yes. that's kind of what I grew up knowing. So it's cool that this is now an extension kind of of that a little right. bit. Right. And then we were, we're now starting to see other people, like other vehicles starting to get different little creatures. Funny. That's <laughs> cool. The ducks are the cutest, I think. I think that that's great. And how can the community get involved in your event? So if you have a Jeep, Please show up. Um, lineup starts at 8. We leave out on the ride at 11. It's $10 donation. Go And all of that goes straight back into the Herndon Foundation. Um, also, the Herndon Foundation is doing a community event at Catawba Heights Baptist Church. The same day, pretty much 11 o'clock, same time. There'll be vendors there, food trucks, things like that. Can you tell me a little bit about the significance of the route that you will be taking? So we'll leave Mount Holly and we'll head down 85. So just bear with us because there's going to be a lot of us. Um, we'll head down 85 and we're going into Kings Mountain. And this year it's special to us because Kings Mountain is Tyler's stomping ground. It's where he went to high school. It's where his parents live. It's it's going to go by all of his places that he grew up at. So then we'll come back through and then we're going to come into the community event into Belmont. Okay. Very exciting. Can you explain a little bit about what the community event will kind of look like? I know there's going to be vendors like food trucks. Right. Um, is is there specifically any kind of entertainment or anything? Um, normally they have a DJ. I've not heard that yet, but normally they have a DJ and um, they have like different types of vendors. Like they'll have like um, food, food trucks, and then they'll have people that are selling like their tumblers or their t-shirts and that kind of thing. And I see that you have a pretty cool looking shirt there. Will there be merchandise for sale at the event? Um, they, we've had pre-orders for our shirts, um, but there will be a limited supply of shirts on hand. Um, so get there early, get your shirt, get ready. Um, also we're only doing cash only so that we can immediately, um, give over the proceeds to, the Herndon Foundation. Totally and, understandable. And we're also having a 50-50 raffle. So if you're a Jeeper, Jeepers like 50-50 raffles. So <laughs> just remember that. Bring your cash. All right. Perfect. And then how can community members specifically help their local law enforcement agencies? Well, I think it's just um, giving them a little bit of respect and just be compassionate towards them and just know that they're out there doing a job that we personally don't want to do, and they're doing it to protect us. And I think just having that thought process and just showing them love, even though you don't really know them, would make a difference in the world. Absolutely. And I think that you've covered most of the specifics of the event, but just in case anybody missed it, one more time, do you mind going over the time, date, location, and instructions of the Jeep event? Okay. So the Jeep event is on March 16th. We will be lining up Jeep-wise 
at 8 o'clock in the morning at the Mount Holly Police Department. Um, there's two entrances, so you just come in. Um, we'll get you where you need to be. We'll get you parked and ready to pull out at 11. Um, we will have a, a, a food truck there and I think a coffee truck, but, you know. But um, so there'll be a couple things there. We um, also have, like, um, our, our vendors for, like, our T-shirts for and that kind of stuff there. Awesome. Is there anything else that you would like to add about the event itself or perhaps about the Herdman Foundation? Okay. Um, just come with an open heart and, you know, hopefully a big wallet to kind of help them out a little bit. But um, just remember it's $10 per Jeep to get in. And then um, the community event is a free event. So just come and just show support there. All right, perfect. As you can see, guys, we have a very important event coming up. If you want to come out and show your support, it is March 16th. Thank you so much, Christy. Thank you. Absolutely. For the Wise News Network, I'm Grace Smith.